Pictured here we have a brutal war scene. Components strewn left and right, left forgotten, only to be embedded in my backlit later at some point in time. Let's see if it works. Yeah! This is fantastic. Alright. Huh. Well, don't ask me why, but actual darkness is apparently not as funky as my shadow. Anyway, this circuit here consists of two parts. First part, part A, is much like the Lab 5 setup uh, with a slight, with slight modification, not much, but slight modification uh, with the photoresistor and uh, that is instead of a thermistor. The photoresistor here in, is actually, I believe, in reverse order of the uh, thermistor. I might be wrong about that, actually. I can't recall, but in my mind it was easier to calculate the result of the voltage divider uh, with it in the opposite position. Well, I mean, as it would be. Anyway, moving on. Uh, this part here is a 556 timer, which is much like a 555 timer, except it's two 55 timers embedded into one chip instead of just one 555. The output uh, of this op amp here is what uh, dictates to the to the 555 timer if it is actually going to be uh, on or not. The only modification from the blueprint uh, that, or the, I'm sorry, the um, circuit diagram that I provided earlier is that instead of VCC, this orange here being connected directly to positive, uh, like I originally planned, it's actually now being driven directly uh, by the output of the op amp switch. The only reason I did that is because despite the fact that it worked correctly when connected to positive in my simulations, when I actually connected it here uh, in real life, it was constantly on and constantly iterating, despite the fact that I had scientific evidence that it would behave otherwise. I'm not sure if that's a behavior of the 5556 as opposed to the 555 uh, op amp, uh, because in the simul in, in the circuit diagram I have a 555. I didn't, and I could only find at Radio Shack a 556. So that really is the only thing I can think of, but I'm not sure if that's actually what is causing uh, that behavior. Anyway. The uh, the blah, 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 the diodes are not originally. Also, these are, weren't part. The LEDs weren't part uh, of the original design. I just didn't. I didn't buy um, actual just regular diodes. I didn't think to do it because I knew I had two LEDs, which was silly on my part. Uh, but those weren't originally part of the design. They were all. They were just to help me debug uh, so that way I knew when part A was working when part B was working so now we can see uh, as well as having this piezo element like originally part of the diagram uh, going off we also have this LED and that pretty much sums it up